I mean, uh, no, I mean, I'm a sales, I'm a salesperson. And what you said, which is like, I was hired to sell cars. <laughs> yeah. That's, and I, I like, I, I mean, I like, I like selling cars. I love making commissions. You know, it's great. It's mm-hmm. sales is sales is it's runs in my family. I, I can do it for the rest of my life. I, I don't know if I want to though. Like, well, see, that's, that's the, the thing. You, I, have to, you have to decide. Like, mm-hmm. I, like, I mean, I love cars. I love the industry and I want to stick with that for sure. Look, it's, I, it's, I just it's, hard, it's hard to walk away from sales because the money's so damn good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, like you have to understand, mm-hmm. like um, I went into sales. I, I knew within six minutes or six minutes, six months, six months of being at the dealership that I knew I wanted to own a dealership. I just yeah. knew it. Right. And I remember asking my owner at the time, like, how do I own a dealership? And he's like, well, you need to know every single position and role at a dealership. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, okay, that made sense to me. Like I was, it was simple. I was like, okay, I just had to work every single role. So when I told my sales manager that I was going to leave the sales department to go be a service advisor for forty-two thousand dollars a year, when I my last T four, you know, I was making you know one hundred and sixty-seven thousand dollars a year. The guy was just yeah. like, "You're you're nuts!" Like <laughs> like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, "Well, no, yeah. like I'm not. I'm playing a long game. I need to go be an advisor because I have to understand mm-hmm. the side of the business." Yeah. And, and I did that multiple times. I went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between making a lot of money, making a little money because I needed to understand every single role. I played the long game. And, mm-hmm. and I find that's actually one of the hardest things for uh, new salespeople is to understand how to play the long game. But you're in a great position to play the long game. I mean, are you? Mm-hmm. Are you living on your own? Are you at home? Like, what, what's I'm, your? I'm with my parents. Like, it's great. So, I mean, I'm, you, you I'm, I don't have long, any bills. You have no bills, yeah. man. You get to play mm-hmm. whatever role you want to play right now. Um, you know, like, I, look, I got married. I had three kids. All of a sudden, it was like, woo. I like. I'm so glad. Early on, I took. I was able to take that opportunity and do this bou- bouncing back and forth between big income and small income because I took it for the experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I could never do that now. Like, I mean, I look at sales guys that are coming to the business in their 40s, and they're like, that's it. They can't go play service advisor. They need to be providers, yeah. They can't play go junior marketing, you know, uh, manager or something like that because mm-hmm. they have they rely on they rely on that income. 